welcome and thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on future videos. This week we're looking at the parable of the Great Feast. But first, how's Lent going? Did you choose something to give up for Lent? Or maybe you decided to start something new? Have a think about something positive you could do for Lent. Maybe you could give extra effort to keeping your room tidy, being a better friend or doing something nice for a friend, trying your best at school. Here's an idea for the fifth week of Lent. Maybe theme each day or do one of the challenges on the screen. So, do you like a party? I know I do. And today's lesson is all about a big party. The Parable of the Great Feast. This lesson teaches us that we are all invited to God's table and that we all have all we have to do is to accept the invitation. This parable can also be known as the parable of the great banquet. One day Jesus told a story about a rich man who planned a special feast or banquet or party. He gave his servants a list of people to invite. It was going to be the best party ever. The servants delivered all of the invitations, but the guests made excuses because they didn't want to come to the party. They thought they had more important things to do. One made the excuse, I've just bought some land and I must go and see it. Another said, I've just bought lots of oxen and I'm on my way to try them out. Another said, I just got married so I can't come. Now this was a really important party and the excuses for skipping it at banquet are rather bad, aren't they? No one buys land without seeing it first and the same can be said for buying oxen. And what exactly would keep the newly married couple from attending a social event? All three excuses in the parable reveal insincerity on behalf of those who were invited. The rich man was understandably very upset. He told his servants to forget the guest list altogether and go to the streets and alleyways and invite the poor, hungry, homeless and sick to come to the party instead. The servants brought in the down and out townspeople and still there was room in the banquet hall. So the rich man sent his servants on a wider search. Go out to the roads and country lanes and make them come in so that my house will be full. The people couldn't believe that they would be invited to such a special event. The rich man and his new guests had a great time. When Jesus finished the story, he told the people that God invites us to his house for a special celebration. Jesus doesn't want us to miss out, but we must first accept the invitation. What does it all mean? So in this story, the master of the house is God, and the grand banquet, or feast, is the kingdom of heaven. It's not just a random story that Jesus is telling. The invitation he's talking about is God's invitation to us to attend the great feast. Jesus was telling us that the kingdom is available to everyone, even those considered unworthy, and that he is willing to go to the deepest and darkest corners of the earth just to have us to join him in the kingdom of heaven. We have the privilege of saying yes to God's invitation, to have an audience with God through Jesus. Let's stop and think. Our attitude might need to shift from, here I am Jesus, aren't you glad to get me? And instead be, thank you for your invitation. I'm not worthy, but I am honoured to accept. What might stop you from accepting the invitation? 
Now I'd also like you to have a think about how the rich man felt when none of his guests came to his party and made bad excuses. What did he do instead? What does it feel like to be included? And what does it feel to be left out? Have you ever made excuses or not included people? Have a think about what people are often excluded and how we can help them. Who does Jesus want us to include? Let's pray together. Our Father, support us to use this time of Lent to do good in this world and connect with God. Thank you, God, for inviting us to your kingdom. Let us be gracious in our acceptance. Support us to look after ourselves, physically, mentally and emotionally. Keep fun, love and laughter in our hearts always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for listening, and we hope you'll join us for a Zoom call on Sunday for the first few minutes, where you can share ideas and activities with the congregation. You can take photos and add them to our Facebook page, Goring MC Children and Family Events. Alternatively, you can email goringmcfamily at gmail.com. Here's some activity ideas. Why don't you throw your own party? You could make an invitation and some party hats. You can make a meal place setting. Online there's lots of colouring pictures that you can do. And there's even an excuse matic Have fun. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you soon.